How's it going everybody? My name's Harry and welcome to my Williams RG3 career mode for today. It's the second season, it's part 13 for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix here in Baku. It's the first time in this series that we've come to Baku. We didn't come here in season 1 because I'm only doing 10 race seasons to put a bit more pressure on myself but back in great track good race in real life as well 2017 controversial and yeah I am going to let Crofty talk his usual ru rubbish and I'll be back for the start of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix with the race minutes away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. Daniel Ricciardo has a clear view ahead from pole position, and Lando Norris lines up alongside. Looking at the rest of today's grid, we have Leclerc, Vettel, Lewis Hamilton, and Perez, Gasly, Stroll, Sainz, and Yuki Tsunoda, Bottas, Joe, Kimi Raikkonen, and Giovinazzi, Verstappen, Ocon, Mick Schumacher and George Russell, Mazepin and Brown. It's almost time for those five red lights to go out. Then let's see who can prevail today. So we're taking new components, so we're starting last. Um, we've got nothing to lose, so we might as well go aggressive. The one stop, whereas we maybe could scrape a point, I think we probably got more of a chance by going aggressive. But yeah. Uh, McLaren front row. Something I weren't expecting. They've made great progress over the winter. And we're out and we're underway in Baku. It's a great start by Lando by Daniel Ricciardo. He gets ahead of Lando Norris. We're gonna go down the inside of several cars. We've already got our teammate and one of the horses. As we now try to go down the inside again into turn two, we need to get our front wing ripped off there by Max Verstappen. Who's also down at the back, I think he's taking engine penalties as well. As we're punching a big hole for those behind, I don't know why there's little um, pixelated parts. Um, I think that's just a little bug at the time. As we try to go down the inside of the Alfa Romeo there, couldn't quite get the job done. But we've got a good, goodish start. Gained a couple of places more than I was probably expecting. From last, we are all the way up into P16. So that's four positions. And now we're on the back of Kimi Raikkonen, who is somehow still here because he's retired in real life and he's outlived Alonso. Alonso, who decided to come back for one season. But. We don't have to look at the back of his car for very long as we get him going down into turn one on the lap two. Next up is Max Verstappen. He finds himself trying to get past Alonso's replacement, Quan Yu Zhou. And here we come then. Max is getting the slipstream, but we're getting the double slipstream. The double toe as we go down the inside of Max Verstappen and we get the job done. We're past Max Verstappen, we've overtaken our Red Bull in a Williams, we've made some good gains so far in this career, but we're still nowhere near that Red Bull um, is now in front of us, or behind of us even, there goes, we can see a good battle going on there between the Alpine and the Alfa Romeo, really really covered for it just behind Max Verstappen. As they're still side by side. This is getting a little bit interesting now, isn't it? Between Kimi Raikkonen and Alex de Ocon. But Ocon is forced to back out. As now, we're on the back of Grand New Joe, who was our former teammate at one stage of the My Team career mode on F1 2020. And we get past him very, very comfortably. We've got some great pace on these soft tyres. And George Russell now down at the back and there's yellow flags because George Russell is going to, he's got a massive engine failure and George is out 
of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix and that is not good news for us because we may have new components as we go down the inside of Giovinazzi but we've got the, we're in the same car, we've got the same engine that's a bit worrying for the rest of the race as Max Verstappen gets past Antonio Giovinazzi but Giovinazzi is having none of it as, a, as we go drag racing down into turn 4 does Max get the job done? Giovinazzi holds the line round the outside he'll now have the inside line for the next corner and he's, they're still going at it Max he, he, he was a brief for that this would be a lot easier than it actually has turned out to be but in the end Giovinazzi is forced to back out and Max goes through it's now, now that's Yuki Tsunoda Yuki Tsunoda is pulling over and he is out as well on lap 4, what a dramatic first couple of laps here in Baku and I believe that that is two with two DNFs in a row for Yuki Tsunoda after Monaco and you can see here the two stoppers are starting to make their first stops they are on the soft so we're going to be in pretty soon as is Sergio Perez coming out and now on lap 7 we are going to pit and um, we, were, we were second at one point wish they could have red flagged the race there but into the pits we come and following us in is Max Verstappen and Max was on the medium tyres as well so unless that Red Bull absolutely shreds its tyres we've been able to look over look after the softs a bit longer as we go massively over the the pit limiter is horrible for Baku you just get flung and I would, like you can't go left you just get flung and forced to go straight on but Giovinazzi beat us out we're trying to get past the Italian if we had that great battle with in season one in Bahrain we're on the back now of Giovinazzi we couldn't quite do him there but we are going to try we tried to do the switch back and go around the outside but Giovinazzi had us covered off we can't, we're really struggling here we tried to go down the inside into turn 4 into turn 2 there's nearly contact there we took in the slipstream and now we have DRS and finally we get past Antonio Giovinazzi into turn 4 and we can get on with our race currently sitting in a comfortable P13 but we couldn't get away from Giovinazzi and he's going to come back at us now Max is quite far back but you'd expect him to catch us but we keep Giovinazzi behind us we just didn't have the pace on this medium tyre we managed to get away a little bit there as Max down the inside of Giovinazzi this time is going to be a bit easier than it was a few laps ago yes it is Max Verstappen up into P12 as we are currently sitting in P11 is Antonio going to have a look back now but here Max was all over the back of us here I just didn't have the pace on these medium tyres we, we, were, we, were, we were so strong on those soft tyres that we've kind of pulled the car up to places it shouldn't be but here comes Max Verstappen he's up our outside make sure Max is up the road we're side by side Max Verstappen has he got the job done on this? yes he has but we're going to go back down the inside and re-overtake Max Verstappen and keep our 11th place on lap 12 this race has been incredible so far as we are now getting a nice toe from Mick Schumacher as he's looking to do the one stop as now we pull out and get the slipstream and the DRS as well and we are past Mick Schumacher 
and we built a little gap now on Max Verstappen, but Max has got a great toe. He's got the double toe to send her right round the outside of Mick Schumacher to keep in touch with us in uh, this race. And round the outside, Mick Schumacher's having none of it on in the car behind him. As there goes Lewis Hamilton on Antonio Giovinazzi now. Hamilton not really having a good race. He doesn't seem to be going that well as he gets past Giovinazzi up next is is the other Alfa Romeo as down the inside goes Max Verstappen and we've managed to get the cut back side by side into the castle section the most tightest part on the Formula 1 calendar Max had to back out of it in the end because I wasn't that that was tight that was so so tight that was nail bites and stuff we both could have ended up in the barrier there Max though he's all over the back of us this time he's up our inside he's got a DRS and he is past us this time just about yes he is but we're gonna use his slipstream to go around the outside but this time Max has got the job done on lap 14 have we got the chance of getting him back into turn 4 yes, we will have the DRS but Max is too far up the road now and finally we were keeping him behind as now the other Red Bull don't worry we haven't overtaken him back somewhere this is this is Sergio Perez getting past us now and you can see that we're just we're just kind of in a no man's land as we come into the pits to make our second and final stop of the Grand Prix and obviously we're going on to another set of the medium compound tyre looking back on this we maybe could have risked it going a couple laps longer and then going on to the, the softs because we had much better pace on the softs than we did on the medium tyres we're going to come out just behind the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc or just in front of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc who's going to absolutely fry us into turn one look at this we're, we're matching him for pace but there's not really any point as, actually no there is point as fighting him because this is for a position now as we do keep the monogas behind us just for now but he's gonna have another run on us into turn four into turn three why not keep calling it turn four into turn three but he's still behind us this time though here he comes again as he goes right to the inside and he cuts us back Oh, don't do us like that swaps us the dummy and goes round the outside but we force him wide and now he might lose out yes he has we've made him lose out to Esteban Ocon in the Alpine and he's lost out to someone else as well and now Pierre Gasly's on the back of us because we've got no pace Pierre Gasly oh he's in the barrier Pierre Gasly's in the barrier ripped off his front wing did he make contact with us? He's hit the barrier. This is a replay of what happened. He's trying to go round our outside there. And he's hit the barrier. He's got stuck between our rear tyre and the barrier. And he's ripped off his front wing. That wasn't my fault. But let me know what you think. That, that wasn't my fault. He's trying to go round the outside. He's still far behind. That gap was always closing. But yeah, that's a big, big crash for Pierre Gasly and now on the back of us is Esteban Ocon this is the fight for a single point in this race so far as to the inside go, to the outside goes Esteban Ocon as he tries to go around our outside we force him wide like we did with with the Ferrari as they're free wide down the inside into turn two Caution, yeah, the virtual the safety car has just been deployed due to a build-up of debris on the track. 
virtual safety car is out there in a Okay, slow down, slow. And this is why, because if three of us made contact, this is the worst replay cameras I've ever done. But essentially what's happened here is that the Aston Martin is on the outside. Um, the Ferrari has been sandwiched in the middle. Bottas has gone right to the inside. And they've all just gone to a massive pinch point on the exit of turn two and wiped each other out. And Bottas has wiped what? ripped off his front wing so now we're sitting in ninth and on the final lap we're all over the back of Kimi Raikkonen for P8 can we get the job done on the fin to take two P8s in a row as Lando Norris wins the Azerbaijan Grand Prix followed by Sebastian Vettel that's two podiums in a row for them to Daniel Ricciardo makes it a double McLaren podium. Sergio Perez is going to come home for P4. Carlos Sainz, P5. Max Verstappen, good cover, covering um, drive to P6 after he lost quite a bit of time behind us. Only just beyond Carlos Sainz. Lewis Hamilton's an absolute shocker. Comes home P7. But who is going to be P8? We're still right on the back of Kimi Raikkonen. We've lost a little bit of time. The DRS section is coming up. The finish line's coming up. We're getting closer and closer. We pull to the inside and we get past Kimi Raikkonen on the line. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Easy race here in Azerbaijan. There's drama around every corner but they've come through to take a brilliant win here today. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. And look at that, they're making their way out onto the podium now. Great race from the McLaren team, and I'm really happy to see them there on the top step of the podium. What a dramatic end to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. There's always drama. That was, it started off well that race and then we just const we just turned a bit stale, we didn't really have any pace. This is the drivers and constructors standings, we've got starting to get a few points on the board after Baku and obviously here and in Monaco. But if you have enjoyed that race, very very tense driving up to the line, we just beat Kimi Raikkonen. If you enjoyed that and you want to see more, the next race is in Canada and I will see you for that one. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Hope you enjoyed this race and I will see you in Montreal.